Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Larry. I'm Justin. And there is a return of, not the Jedi, but return of the early 2016 notebook. So, a couple episodes back, right around Christmas time, in fact, right before he went to Japan, yep. this guy went into... Uh, basically, we just had to take it to Apple because a butterfly key broke. Well, we had to take it to the Genius, to the Genius Bar. And luckily, it was under warranty. It, it was great. Uh, it was under warranty, and I didn't have to put out any money whatsoever, which is always a plus, especially going to a repair shop, and especially repairing an Apple, because we all know how expensive that can get. And they just took care of it. it uh, because they didn't have the part in stock, it literally just, um, Took them maybe three to five business days, which was what they said. It was right near Christmas time too. So with that being said, good job, Apple. Now here is something that we did not review to Apple when we first put it in, which was if we shake it, there's no noise now. But there was a noise. What, what was it? What was it, sir? Uh, we actually don't know what it was, but when we shook the machine, something in it would make noise. It was weird. We think it's a battery. We think the battery became uh, detached, the adhesive, adhesive or whatever it was. But you know what? We never opened it. Just because um, we didn't feel like there was a need to because it was still functional, everything worked fine. But um, there was loose and Apple took care of it. They didn't question us about it. But with that being said, um, under warranty, which I, should, I will put the link on the bottom so that everyone can research in case you're having the same issues with your butterfly keyboard, they repaired it at no cost and it was very good. Um, everything feels the same, right? Business as usual. Keys actually feel better now. Interesting. I don't know how, but it's better, he says. As long as he's happy, this is his machine. And like uh, our prior episode, this guy runs the MacBook without any case whatsoever. But he never dropped things, so keep your fingers crossed. Um, the repair was, was just very simple, very clean. Um, no data was lost, short amount of time. I think you're happy with the repair. I'm super happy because I didn't have to pay any money. But overall, it was a positive experience, right? I, going there, yes. Coming back, I don't know because I was in Japan when he picked it up. That's a good point. When I went to go pick it up, I did have a couple questions. Which was, uh, for example, hey genius, can you tell me how many times the battery cycle? That genius literally said, my job is just to give you and return your machine. Interesting. Uh, if you're a genius, I think you should be able to answer a certain amount of questions. Uh, I don't think that was too technical. Apple, please train your staff a little bit better. That will be my suggestion. But with that being said, we did Google it and we looked at the life cycle of the battery. And even though the machine's a, a little bit older, um, it still has plenty of life uh, rest with the battery. So with that being said, hopefully this particular laptop will really support him through the majority of high school. Um, and then we can go from there. Anything else to add? No nicks and dents or anything you saw, right? Nope. Okay, with that being said, um, as usual, please subscribe and hit the like button. The other button does work, but we prefer the like one. So with that being said, peace. Bye.